Hi, I'm Tammy Levine, and I'm here with Sarah Bond to talk about game development. Sarah runs the gaming ecosystem organization with an Xbox, and it's a pretty new org, less than a year old, and already doing amazing things. But Sarah, you have to tell us the origin story for this team. Well, you know, Tammy, when you ask me like that, that I'm going to tell you because it's one of my favorite stories to tell. So when I started at Microsoft, I was doing a ton of work with game creators and developers of all sizes. And they would always tell me that they could see the opportunity that comes from working with our platforms creatively, technically, and commercially. But they would also say that, you know, it was sometimes hard to figure out how to fully seize that opportunity because game creation is hard. You know, it's the only medium that brings together, you know, art, creativity, while also just pushing the very edges of tech on fidelity, latency, and how much cloud compute they, they, they really require to render a game. In a lot of ways, that's what we love about gaming at Microsoft, because it makes us better. The tools and technologies we build are constantly improving because of what we learn from game creators and developers. So about a year ago, you know, I was sitting down and I was talking with Phil Spencer, who runs Xbox and Satya, about what I was seeing. And we realized that what we had to do was create a dedicated engineering organization that looked at all of our tools and services across Microsoft and really thought about how we were improving them, enhancing them, and bringing them together to meet the needs of game developers. And so that's exactly what we ended up doing, which is how we ended up having the gaming ecosystem organization. So it's been a great ride, honestly. Fun year, busy year, as you could imagine, but really, really amazing. Well, that mission, Sarah, like that is the reason I joined Microsoft. And that's why when you started telling me about that opportunity of like reaching out to game developers and helping make their lives easier and better, I jumped right in. I fell in love with it because for 20 years, I've been working with developers at EA, Konami, Ubisoft, developers who are all over the world making games on every genre for every platform and facing all those challenges you just described. Because we know that game creation can come from anyone, anywhere, if they have the right tools. Today's modder can become tomorrow's hottest developer when they have the chance to do so. Yeah, that's one of the things I love about gaming is that that effect, right? That, you know, almost anyone can can learn how to create a game and create something that the world can enjoy. Um, and that's what I love about Build. Uh, because uh, Build is all about game developers. Um, no, well, Build is all about developers. One day it might be all about game developers. Uh, and that's what we're all about, is empowering developers to create something amazing um, and really democratizing game development so that anyone, you know, even from their own kitchen table, can figure out how to build a game and share it with the world. Totally. And that engineering work, I feel, is more important now than ever. Because last year, we really saw that technology is essential in improving our lives, especially games. I mean, I don't know about you. Well, you have little kids, so I'm sure you had the same experience, which is that gaming really saved my family last year. We, we have family all over in different places. And it's not just that it was about you know entertainment. It was the means by which we were able to connect with that family and friends in a time when we couldn't really do that otherwise. Yeah, this, I mean, gaming has been a lifesaver for me too. And what I'm really struck by actually is how it's keeping families together around the globe. So the other day I was talking to a friend of mine, he's here in the US, his whole family is back in South Africa and he's super close to his nephew, but they haven't been able to see each other in person for this whole year because it's just dangerous, frankly, and really hard to be traveling, especially internationally on a long haul flight. So what they've been doing is they've just been playing games together. And, you know, I love just hearing his stories about it, about how, you know, yeah, they get to have fun, you know, they get to do something together. But also, you know, his nephew's chatting to him about over chat about all the stuff that maybe he, you know, might not want to chat with everybody else about. Uh, and they get to actually have that conversation. And, you know, he can be an uncle in that way. And that's what I love about gaming, you know, is it's really keeping us together and keeping those connections alive, friends, family, and loved ones. And that is exactly why gaming is the powerhouse it is. It's the fastest growing form of media and entertainment in the world today, if you can believe it. And it actually topped $200 billion in revenue as an industry this last year. Yeah, I totally believe it. And I love that story, Sarah, because 
it really captures, you know, that we're not just playing across geographies, but it really suggests the future we're heading towards, like a future where we're not just playing across distances, but we're also playing across platforms. So whether you're on Xbox console, PC or mobile, you'll be able to play the games you want with the people you want at any time you want. Um, I think that's extremely inspiring. And this team, our team, is the team that's engineering that future. And Azure, in particular, is just a great example of a technology that's enabling that future. Yeah, completely, Tammy. You know, we talk all the time about how what we really want is we want it to be possible for anyone to play any game across any device or anywhere. And that's what this is about. You know, and the cloud really is the canvas for the creativity that is needed to unlock all of that. The cloud makes it possible. If you're making a game, no matter where that game is going to be played, you know, Xbox, Nintendo, PlayStation, Switch, iOS, Android, it doesn't matter. The power of the cloud makes it possible for that to happen now, which before, before we had that, you know, you know, games would be locked more to one device. That's not the reality that we live in anymore. So that's actually why we created this special program called the ID at Azure program. Because what that does is it's a program for independent developers, startup developers, citizen creators, and people who are just learning to actually be able to easily access all the incredible tools and services we have across Microsoft and our cloud to build, manage, and monetize and distribute your game. So we actually launched that um, new program um, and announced it last month, ID at Azure at GameStack Live, and it's going to launch and go live this summer. And so I am just super, super excited and pumped to see the amazing creations that come out of independent developers and all of you using Azure to create games. You know, Sarah, I love what you said, that idea of the cloud as a canvas for creativity. I think that is so cool. And there's so much of that to explore in GameStack Live. That really was an incredible event. They had, what, like 50 sessions across six technical tracks. The range of content there was really impressive. And I think it would be awesome if everybody from Build come and check out the full GameStack Live conference because all of it's available on demand and there's so much to take in. Yeah, completely. You guys should totally check it out, but we're also building on that this week. So Travis Bradshaw, who is the CTO of the Gaming Vertical, is actually going to be joining you all at Build tomorrow in a live conversation about building games on Azure, and he's going to be participating in an Ask the Expert session as well. So I can't wait to see the amazing creations you all build um, on top of Azure and all the services we have. Yeah, totally with you on that, Sarah. So if you guys want to learn about anything we've talked about, it's all available on developer.microsoft.com slash games. Thank you, Sarah, so much for taking the time. And thank you all for watching. Yeah, thank you, everyone.